Hello guys, welcome. In this video, we will solve one question regarding this microprocessor assembly language. Write an assembly language program to add odd bytes in the memory location and store it in DS colon 1000 H. This is the question which we have. If it is odd bytes and even bytes, whichever it may be, it is not mentioned that odd memory locations, be careful about this, it is not odd memory locations, it is odd bytes. That means they are telling, you check whether the number is odd or even and add it if it is odd and leave if it is even, right? This can be done in many ways, okay? As I know, there are three ways of doing it. One is traditional way, you divide it by two and see whether the remainder is one or not. If it is, if the remainder is one and then you have to add it because it's an odd number. If remainder is not one, then it's an even number and leave it. That's one way of doing it. And the second way of doing it is using AND command, okay? In, we can use AND command because if we add the number with 0, 1, H, okay, any two-digit number, if we add it with 0, 1, H, what happens is, if the number is odd, then the AND operation will you give you 1 as a result. And if the number is even, okay, then if we AND it with 0, 1, the result will be zero. So then we can use the conditional control transfer instruction jump zero or jump no zero. Okay, that's the way how we can do. This is the second method. And the third method is we can rotate the number which we have and see if there is a carry. Rotate instruction usually, if it is R O R, we can rotate only in right direction because the least significant bit of your number, if it is one, then it is an odd number. If least significant bit is zero, it is an even number. It is always true, okay? That we have to check. We have to rotate in the right direction. If we rotate in the right direction, the least significant bit will be copied to the carry flag also, and it will be copied to the first location also because the last location is the least significant bit. It will be transferred to the first location if we right shift it and also it will be stored in carry flag. Okay, So we will check whether carry flag is 1 or not. If it is 1, it is an odd number. If it is, ne if it is even, it is even number so we leave it so these are the two ways of doing it i will directly go and show you how to code it okay not i won't show you the already existing code i will tell you i will show you how to code it okay we will code it from the beginning okay yes Add it odd dot ASM or odd number dot ASM. Okay. Okay. See, first of all, the question says we have to add the numbers from the memory location, isn't it so? So we have to create the data segment, right? So I'll start with the data segment. Okay, then I have to create a variable to store my data, right? So where to create the variable in some memory locate in the in some address. Let's say the offset address is 3000 H. Okay, then I have to create a variable to store my data, all my data, x db, sorry, x db, and let the values be 0, 01 H, 0, 02 H. 03H, 04H, and 
five H, okay, and uh, zero six H. Let it be. Let these uh, be my values. And uh, the question says at the end that see you can see this question at the end. Store it in ds colon one thousand H. Okay, I have to store the values in ds colon one thousand H. In one thousand H, I'll create another. Uh, you need not to create a variable actually. You can directly address this. We will di directly address that later. We need not to create a variable. So I will end the data segment. Data ends. Okay, that's it. We created a variable and we ended the, this thing. Then we will go to code segment. Okay, and assume CS colon code and DS colon data. This is done. After that, what we have to do? Uh, we have to start the real program. See, I have written some values here. These must be, these must be initialized in data segment. Wh what to do for initializing data segment? We have to do this operation. If you don't do th this operation, you will never ever get the output. Remember this. Okay, move a x comma data and move ds comma ax if you do this this is the halfway okay and then i have to point to this memory location to get these all data so i'll use some index registers li lea si comma x okay that is so that's i will point to the x variable okay now what i have to do is i have to add them add the values okay so added let let me do one thing i'll i'll store the added values in ax register so i have to clear the ax register first okay move ax comma 0000h okay this will clear the ax register okay then i have to put the operation in a loop because there are six values as you can see the, this is one two three four five six values so cx value the count value should be initialized to six right cx must be initialized to sorry move cx comma zero six h okay then i can go for i can create a loop okay loop having uh, first i should check whether the value the number this number now the si is pointing to this number right this number is odd or even how to check that i have to end it with 0 1 h okay before that what i have to do is i have to access this number so let me do one thing move pl comma from the memory location i will transfer the value into bl because i am ending right ending and operation must be done and bl comma 0 1 h see people more oftenly mistake this okay 0 1 in binary is 0 0 0 0 people say it is 1 1 1 1 this is the most this is the very very big problem in understanding this okay you cannot say this okay this is not zero one zero 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 is zero okay that's acceptable what is one 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 is f okay so what is zero one is zero 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 one this will be and this will be ended with this uh, zero six what is zero six uh, sorry uh, the first value is 0 1 okay in the in 0 what is 0 1 0 1 also the same thing so you will 0 actually this 0 1 is an odd number so you will get 1 so uh, after odd operation we will check whether sorry about that whether the number is even or not right how to check whether it's an even or not if the and operation if it gives me 0 the output zero then it is an even number 
okay now so i will use the conditional control transfer instruction jump zero okay if it is zero it's an even number so jump so i will use skip and otherwise if it is false it should be added right add al comma i will store the added value in al but we cannot use bl here even though we transferred the value from si to bl we cannot use bl value here because it it will be done with the and operation okay that's why what we have to do is we have to use si value only here okay si value so si i will use then if there is a carry jump no carry i will add it you know this uh, adding operation so i will skip all the explanation of this one add a sorry increment ah because this is the decimal adding okay then jump no carry i have to give some other name skip one i'll give okay okay then i have to go down because um, see i will this skip and skip one should be given here somewhere here i will use skip here and skip one below that skip one you can use like this no problem at all and then i have to increment h a uh, sorry increment si because it has to go to the next memory location and that's it loop up this will complete my operation okay skip skip one increment as this is very very simple isn't it it's very simple and then done with it right finally well, i have to transfer my add uh, addition output into 1000h isn't it so so i will transfer move move how to transfer that's the question first i have to transfer move um this thing 1000h right 1000h and i have to transfer al value it's not ax because some 1000h memory location is actually 8 bit wide and you cannot use that thing okay 1001 sorry 1001h and store ax value okay ax sorry al ah value ah value or you can use ulta also if you want to so i'll use that one only ah and then i'll transfer it al and th that's it that will store my value and uh, that's it end 3h and code ends and start and sorry and start right this is my code i will save it and i will go out of it and let's see whether our code is proper or not or whether there are any errors or something like that we'll see that oh my god okay no segment it is telling let me go here and see this segment this is the error see this is an intentionally made <laughs> error okay segment if you miss one single letter everything will go off it was giving see how many errors it was giving 22 errors right 22 can you imagine that huh? now there are two errors okay immediate mode is illegal it is saying 24 25 we will we will there should be errors okay otherwise we will not understand 24 and 25 it is saying immediate mode is illegal say this immediate mode is illegal it is saying right yes here 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 you see did you see this did i specify which segment it is no right that i have to specify okay ds colon 1000 see ds here also 
colon 1001 hatch this will do okay I will save it and go there and do margin okay see zero errors okay and then link then you go for debug press G now you see final value stored in AX is 09 we can see in memory location also D DS colon 1000 right see this is the lower two bytes sorry this is the higher two bytes and this is the lower two bytes because I have done it old up so 0009 is the output we will check whether it's correct or not right so let's go to our program we'll see that again see odd values are 1 3 and 5 right 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9 that's the correct output see we can do in in other way also okay I used one of the three methods which I told now I can use the second method also in second method what I have to do I have to rotate it right rotate right instead of and operation I have to do rotate operation R O R rotate right and where check whether the carry is one or not okay so jump no carry okay if there is carry it is odd if there is no carry it will skip because it's even right so that's it save and exit this will also work okay it should work there is no error okay debug G see again you are getting 0 9 as the value and in memory location also you should get the same value right see this is the way how it works that I explained only two algorithms you can check with the third one also it's a bit difficult why why should we go for the difficult one if we know the easier one right thank you